adulting sucks at the best of times, adulting sucks at the worst of times. Adulting sucks when you're sick, adulting sucks when you are at home with your parents. Now, uh, this whole video uh, hopefully is going to be about uh, adulting for dummies. And this was inspired by a YouTuber I watch who did a video very similar. And I thought that's actually a really good thing to do. Because I've also recently read articles about how millennials apparently don't know about ad basic adulting things. So I thought it would be worth doing a video about it. So number one, most importantly, bank accounts. Because if you're going to have a job and be an adult, you're going to need a bank account. I've had one for a, a significant amount of time. They're not hard to open. You just go in with some form of ID and a letter that says you live where you live, I think. And you just open a bank account. It's not hard. Secondly is ironing. Now, uh, I know how to iron. I do know how to iron, and that's not because I'm a girl. Before I did my masters, I worked throughout my whole of my undergrad, and I needed to iron my shirts. So, I obviously had to iron things. Uh, safe to say, I didn't always iron, but adults do. A lot of millennials don't know how to iron, and I think that's shocking. It's not hard. You fill a, a hot thing up with water, and you just run it over some clothes. Just don't hold it down for too long. Uh, but yeah, ironing sucks, but it's one of those things which you're going to have to learn to do because you can't be expected to go to work every day with sh wrinkled shirts or clothes. Next is getting your own place, whether it's with some friends or with a significant other or even with just like your brother or sister. Um, there's so many fees behind getting your own place, whether you're buying, which I fortunately haven't had to do yet, to renting. Now, renting, you have on top of your rent and, you know, bills and stuff. Before you even think about that, you have to pay extortionate admin fees, um, extortionate handling fees. You have, you have to pay somebody to write your name on a document, which I think is mind-boggling. I don't know how people can get away with that, but they do. This one, a link to the previous one, is bills. Now, um, bills suck. Uh, especially if you don't know what you want or what you want to use. Uh, basically, as long as you don't go over the set amount that you specified, you're fine. So, like, my internet's with Virgin Media, which is shit, but it's the only one which is just internet, which I'm in a sort of, like, a half-student house, so it sort of makes sense for me. Um, and then I've got my gas and electric. In the past, I've been with Southern Electric, but now I'm with EDF, which, you know, I don't really care so much. They've got a good package, um for each month it's both included if i go over i have to pay extra at the end of my um contract but if i go under then i get money back so you know all sort of works it all swings and roundabouts obviously i've been streaming a lot more if you've watched me on uh, twitch so the internet bill is going to go up a bit especially because my uh, flatmate has been playing wow a lot however you know we went through a phase of not using that much electric or we don't use that much gas so you know it's it all works out together, but it's something you definitely need to sit down and talk to whoever you're living with about. If it's just you, then it's easy. You just sort it all out yourself. Next one, and probably not as important as doing bills, but something which you don't realise you don't know until you've left, is doing your own laundry and your own washing up. Now, those are um, the things that you probably should have learnt whilst you were living at home, let's say. <laughs> So I obviously learned how to use a dishwasher, I learned how to wash up, I learned how to do my own laundry before I came to university because, you know, I'm smart and my parents treated me and taught me well. But there are some people that have no fucking idea what they're doing and I think that's completely insane. How do you not know how to do your own laundry? Have you grown up in a sheltered life? What? But those are one of the things you do have to know when you become an adult, when you are a millennial, or whether you're 16 or 18 going off to university in September. You need to know these things. There's common courtesy when it comes to washing up, okay? When you use something and it's yours, fine. You know, leave it on the side for, like, the rest of the day if you've had breakfast or something wash it up at the end of the day wash it up the next day fine do not leave your shit all over the side for 24 fucking days 
I know I sound really angry, but I lived with people that did that. They left all their stuff on the side, and it got to the point we had to stack all their shit up, put it in a plastic bag and leave it outside. And it was still left outside. I literally do not know how they did it, but they were disgusting. So there was that person. But then I also lived with people that liked doing their washing up. And I enjoyed doing my washing up because it meant that all my stuff was clean. Now, if you live in a communal house where you share all your pots and pans and your plates, you need to make sure that you wash up what you use. It is not fair for your housemates to then have to wash up your stuff which you used if they want to use it. So say you used a frying pan for dinner. Wash it up and then either leave it dry like leave it drying by the sink or put it away because chances are somebody will want to use it don't be that guy nobody likes that housemate one of my pet peeves about like this adulting 101 stuff and adulting for dummies is when they refer to millennials i know i've done it a couple times but it really really bugs me because it's like why are you calling us millennials i didn't call my parents generation uh, generation x did i so, I, oh, it really bugs me. But another thing with adulting, which I didn't think about this until someone told me about it, actually, was voting. Now, for a lot of you in America, you would have voted in your elections in November. Some of you very poorly, but we're not going to judge you for that because we voted Brexit. So, I know I have no feet to stand on, really. In fact, my feet have been cut off at this point because Brexit. Okay, I'm not saying those who voted Brexit are idiots, but I'm saying those that voted Brexit were probably misinformed, and a lot of them changed their minds now. You know, it happened, it happened, we're just trying to make a good out of a bad situation. I do feel sorry for my international friends that are very scared at this time, because they don't know what their future holds, and they don't know what their future will be. And I'd hate to not know that. At least I know I'm safe. They're not, which is kind of scary. But... Voting. You need to make sure wherever you end up moving to, when you move out of the house, it, you are registered to vote. This is also contributes, which I found out recently, to your credit score. You have a better credit score, you are registered to vote. Oh, I've had a problem with this, so no, you're not in your you're not in your own boat at this point. Okay. Also, I just want to apologise again. I am sick, still. So that's why this video is kind of pants. But I wanted to keep up with my schedule of every Saturday. Um, one of the things I don't even know is how to do a CV. Now CVs are so important. If you've moved out and you're a student or you've moved out to find a job, some of like that CVs are crazy important. Like very few places now have applications. It's all about the uh, CV. Especially if you upload it onto like Indeed or Read or something like that. You need to know how to do, write your CV. There are so many courses out there. There are so many things on YouTube, on Google, on Yahoo, on uh, Microsoft Edge. Literally just put it in the search bar and something will come up. It is hard to make sure it's perfect. But once it's done, you don't have to think about it again. So it, it's it is vital to adulting to have a good CV. Okay, I think that's all from me, actually. I think that's uh, all the adulting points I had today. I am streaming a lot more on Twitch, so if you want to come check me out on Twitch, there's a link in the description below uh, with my schedule for Twitch. And um, if you've got any adulting tips that I forgot about or I didn't say, then please write them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. Or if you've got any questions about ad adulting, I'm not the best person to ask, but I will answer as well as I can. Uh, I currently don't have a sign off because I don't have anyone here to annoy me, but I really want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.